20 years and uh, it's hard going at the moment and flowers are a luxury aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm Is there anything you'd like to see improved in High Street, things that could be done better? It needs a rebound. Um, too many charity shops, too many food places. It needs, I need a little bit of welcoming shops yeah. Yeah. My street has, it, 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 it's deteriorated slightly and the, and the market traders, to be fair, the rents that the council are giving to the market traders now are very cheap. But I think in general the market traders have actually left the business. So the problem is that a lot of people are trading in over 30 years and now gone and do another job because money's not in the high street therefore they can't make a living out of it and, and that's where I think we're failing a lot and the, the young kids you know the, the, the kids of the people that are working here haven't come into the business because it's not you know it's no no and um, one of the ideas around the application uh, council is making is around to create a, a dedicated town team with folks on the Yes, it's a fabulous idea. I mean, I think traders, traders have got good ideas, the council itself have got good ideas, and we can put it all together. We can probably make the market sort of vibrant again. More electric points here because a lot more people use lights and things like that, and you need to have the accessibility of putting them up. From a market trader's point of view, I think that the gazebo systems that some town centres operate where all the gazebos are the same colour does look very, very good. It also means that some of the stalls that are not as flash almost, so they, they don't look the part almost, gives them a chance because the, the councils provide all the gazebos um, if the cost is, is suitable. Um, I think, the, again, from a market point of view, uh, electric hookups great so we can do late night trading towards Christmas uh, or peak time of the year when there is extra people for it. Do you agree with the sort of town team approach taking that forward? I think it's a great idea if, if it's used correctly rather than just people going and having a whinge about their own particular business it's got to be a joint effort and it's everyone brings some ideas to the table and if there's a way around it to solve any issues and it's take on board. Great, thank you. And then obviously you support Gospel putting in a, to become a Fortress pilot. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, thank you for taking some time to speak to us this afternoon. Um, we're just behind actually Gospel High Street, but I'd like the uh, chance for you to tell us a bit about the marina and how, how, how uh, it links to the High Street. Yes, yeah, certainly. We were uh, built in 1993 by Dean and Reddy Hoff Limited, um, nearly 20 years here now. It's a wonderful location, eastern end of the Solent, and it's uh, served brilliantly on the doorstep of Gosport. Um, it's got nearly 600 boats here, uh, so we get a, a great deal of folk here, a lot of visitors, a lot of uh, folk from abroad coming over. Um, so um, the secondary spend locally is, is huge and uh, will have an impact. So what issues or problems do you think Gosport Town Centre faces? Uh, well, it, it looks a little run down, um, it looks, looks pretty tired. Um, for us, I mean, we, we give the local information when visitors come, um, and indeed our permanent birth holders. Um, the supermarkets are always busy, people need to you know, get, get stores on board. Uh, but generally, at the foot of the high street is the uh, ferry to Portsmouth, and there's a new development, Gone Off Keys, not so new now, maybe eight, eight years or so. Uh, but it's a very good development with factory outlet shops and such, so it's really a case of possibly stopping those uh, customers taking that secondary spend on the ferry over to Portsmouth and keeping them here. How best to do that? Um, I, I, I'd be guessing, but I mean, you can look at maybe cows on the Isle of Wight. They've got a lot of, uh, you know, kind of funky, boutique type shops, which, uh, you know, really has a good atmosphere and buzz about it. Um, Gosport sadly lacks that at the moment, and I, I'm not sure what the answer is to, 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 to make that change. The, the pilot approach is to increase leisure and community uses and um, you know, create best links to our scenic harbour. Um, obviously, is this approach you, you support, is it then? Yeah, pretty much so. I mean, it, it, it is kind of a, a captive audience here. So, it's, it, as I say, it, they, they know where the high street is. It, I don't think it's a lack of signage or education on our part. It's really, you know, changing the product on the high street, possibly. Um, 
there will always be the odd draw, uh, bits and pieces, the, the twice weekly market, uh, other bits and pieces, but uh, inherently I think they know where it is, it's just what's on offer there uh, isn't so attractive. And uh, what sort of issues and problems do you think Gosport uh, faces at the town centre? Um, well, I think it, it, it's, um, it has a, a number of issues really and I'm sure that most towns and cities across the country uh, have the same but unfortunately with uh, Gosport having one main road in and out, the uh, transport issue is, is the main problem and a short ferry ride over to Portsmouth, people are bypassing the high streets. Um, when really they should look a little bit deeper and sort of see how they can help our local businesses and uh, really help um, provide a better shopping facility for, for themselves and for the people that, that work there. Thank you. The pilot approach is very much about increasing leisure and community uses um, alongside retail and to create better links to the harbour. Um, which will hopefully help to sustain the retail. Do you, do you think this is a good approach that we should be taking for these pilots? Yeah, I think so. I think um, initially, um, uh, even only a few years ago, people from Portsmouth would consider to come over for the market. The market's diminished uh, quite a bit over uh, the last couple of years and there is no reason at all to come over. So better transport uh, and options and facilities as far as uh, the ferry goes and getting across there would definitely help. It's, uh, it's, a, it's got a lovely view um, and uh, I just think it, you should really capitalise on, on the, uh, the surroundings that we have. Excellent, thank you very much. And do you think creating a town team is going to um, you know, help address these problems in the right direction? Yeah, I think that having a town, town team would be the best option. I think. ideas you think that they could take forward? Um, I think it's always a challenge but I think we should be trying to bring people into the high street area so we need to think about could we enhance the cultural offer for example is there more that we could do to tie in with the town hall in that area could we make it more inspirational more um, cultural or artistic because we have got some aspects down there haven't we like the timeline which is good could we, could we make it more family friendly um, certainly in the evenings, Fridays and Saturdays, I don't feel it's a family friendly place. So I think that's what we should be doing is looking at it as a destination and what does a destination need to offer the visitor or the person who's going to come in and buy items um, to bring them down here, to make them get in their car or get on their bus and come down here or on their bike. Oh, lovely, thank you very much. And I take it from that then that you and sort of full support of uh, Gospel to itself or to be a pilot? I think it's a brilliant idea. I think the, the team, the way that the, I've, I've read obviously um, the bid, and I think thank the you. way that the team could lead this forward would be fantastic because a lot of bids, they're, they're strategies and they're, they're words, but you don't always get targets and outcomes. And I think if you have a team approach, working with partners, and we're already a close partner for Gospel Borough Council, I think it can really achieve great things. And we've got to remember that Gospel has a huge amount of deprivation and we have an opportunity here to really make a difference to people's lives and I think we should take it. Lovely. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.